Hey guys, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we're working on a 2008 Subaru Impreza. And it's stuck in limp home mode. We have a code P2102 electronic throttle control power low. So, here's the schematic for it. There's a separate relay the ETC control relay and that feeds power to the computer and the computer has an internal circuit which then drives our electronic throttle body through these two wires so let's, uh, let's pull up a definition of this code and see what the setting criteria are so here's the setting criteria for this 2102 code. Uh, again, Subaru flowcharts are kind of kind of short. <laughs> they don't give too much information here, but they say uh, judge as no good when electronic throttle control power is not supplied, even when ECM sets the electric control throttle relay to on. Okay, there's the quick schematic. There's our ETC relay. It is controlled by the computer and the load side goes to the computer and then inside there is uh, some beefy power transistors that actually control your throttle body right here on two wires so they you know power and ground and you can flip them around and apparently there's a monitoring circuit when the computer commands the relay on it better see 12 volts on this wire right here okay uh, so it's just enable conditions. Uh, and basically, if within 400 milliseconds or like half a second, it doesn't see the response from the relay, it throws the code and puts the car into limp home mode. And to get out of limp home mode, you actually have to reset the codes, which I haven't done yet, since I wanted to start from scratch. Uh, so at this point, let's just do a key. Um, key on engine off test. I have the Pico scope hooked up. It's the 4425 four channel scope. Now for stuff like this, this is where it really shines, where we want detail and a long capture time. Uh, basically, you know, uh, that's, that's its forte. So we have the PCM, or ECM rather, out right here by the passenger footwell and our four channels I have them labeled right here channel one is going to be relay control that's the blue channel so that's on connector C so C21 then uh, channel two is our relay power going to the ECM and then three and four are the two throttle body control wires like we saw in the schematic so the yellow and the green right there so what I want to do is just start key on engine off or key off engine off then get the scope rolling so let's start the scope here so right now it's live all our readings are at zero okay four channels let's take the key and we'll see what happens when I turn the key on and it doesn't matter you know we'll, we'll capture the data so key on right there interesting and key off. Okay, you heard a click. I just want to get some more frames. You can see um, the red trace, which is our ETC power went back to zero. Okay, so let's look at the, the whole event. 
So right here, this is cool. So this is the control for the ETC relay. Right here, uh, we turn the key on, and then at this moment in time, let's zoom in. Right here is when the ECM commands uh, that relay to turn on. So you can see the control side, the blue trace, gets pulled to ground and then we get power on the red trace. Okay? Uh, just like it's supposed to, supposed to work. And you can see the delay right in here. There's the time delay uh, of the relay turning on. And we can measure the time difference. So basically the delta right here is 5.6 milliseconds. So it took the relay 5.6 milliseconds to actually close the contacts and send power to uh, to the ECM. And according to our setting criteria, what did it say, 400 milliseconds. So that test right there, that should have passed. Now let's zoom out again. Now I want to look at what's going on right here. See this hashy uh, signal. So let's zoom in right there. This is freaking sweet. Try doing try doing that on the Varus, right? <laughs> um, Yeah, so these spikes right here, I don't know if that is normal, that little uh, blip of noise. So, let's see if we can, can we just zoom out? So that's where the touch screen is actually pretty sweet. You can see the little rectangle moving right there. I zoom in. Nice. So, so the relay turns on. I'm not worried about the actual relay. We can get that out of the picture. <clears throat> uh, what I am worried about is this event right here. Uh, I want to see if that is causing our code. So what we need to do is clear the code and do this test over again. Now the owner says this problem only occurs in the morning after it's sat all night. He said if, it, if he lets it sit until the afternoon, if, if it warms up during the day, it won't happen. So it's a very, uh, the conditions have to be very, you know, exact, I guess, to recreate the problem. That's why I haven't started the car yet. Uh, so that's what I want to do next is clear the code and see if the system acts normally. And if it sets the code right away, we'll know that it was, you know, a bad event. And after it warms up, we'll repeat the experiment and see what's known good. And we can uh, then see where the problem lies. Alright guys, we got the key on, engine off. Here's the P2102 code. Let's go ahead and erase it. Maybe we should uh, get the freeze frame first. Just to see if, uh, if it happened when it was cold. It was 75, coolant temp was 78, so cold start, open loop. Uh, 
Uh, the guy said, you know, as soon as he starts it, it, it basically goes into limp home. So, there's that. Let's clear the codes. Yep. Alright. No codes present. Sweet. Is there anything manufacturer specific codes? And nothing stored in the history. Alright. So while we're here, before we crank this thing, let us go to data. See with the key on engine off that computer might be heating up right now. I'm just looking for the throttle body data. What's going on over here? Throttle motor voltage, so I guess that guy right there is pretty important. That's what's setting our code. All right, let's shut it off and uh, start it up and look at our scope. That's kind of interesting. Let's uh, stop that and go back a couple frames here. So that's when I turned the key on. We had power to our throttle, and then the relay switched off, and then back on again. I don't know if that's normal or not. It definitely didn't happen before we cleared the codes. So, um, basically I'm just going to keep saving the waveforms along the way and seeing if our code pops up before starting this vehicle. Okay, now this time, key on, engine off, it was a clean switch. There wasn't that second uh, um, click that, you know, it didn't drop back down and then come back up. So there is some inconsistency here. Let's scan for codes again. No codes present, no codes present. I don't know if uh, if manufacturer specific is better or not. Uh, well, let's start it up, see what happens. I'll get the scope rolling again here. There you go, I heard the relay click.
All right, guys, this is a really good case study. Uh, we're definitely getting somewhere. So, this was the initial key on engine off uh, cycle when the car was dead cold. Uh, I just hooked up the leads and the key on, uh, the code was still there. So, this is what happened. Here, this is the control side of that ETC relay. First, the control side went high. That is our main relay turning on. Okay, so here's the here's the main relay. As you can see, the control for the ETC relay is fed by the load of the main relay. Okay, that is key information. So right there, the main relay turned on, and then the ETC relay got commanded on right here. So see, so you got pulled to ground. So basically, on this wire right here, this got pulled to ground. So the ECM says, "I want the ETC relay on." Now at that moment, what we expect is this red line to go to 12 volts. It did not. So uh, this I think is like a trial period, you know, that 400 millisecond. I want the relay on, it waits, 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 and like, okay, we're shutting it back down. You can see an actual inductive spike right there. Uh, that's from the relay coil, from the ETC relay coil on the control side. And for the rest of the key on time, uh, the control side is being commanded off. So it tried once, it did not see a response on the load side, we're done. So that I think is setting our code. Now let's look at a good cycle, so the, uh, the code is cleared, uh, obviously I can't recreate it anymore, the car is warmed up a little bit. Let us look at a known good. So right here, main relay is on, then the ETC relay is commanded on, and instantly we get 12 volts on that, the, the power feed to the, uh, the ECM, that ETC power feed, that's the load side of the relay. And everything's happy, okay? So on the next frame, I shut the key off, right there. As soon as you sh shut the key off, you see the inductive spike from the ETC relay. So that's being commanded off. However, the main relay, you'll notice, is still on. This is, this is key. <clears throat> so, let's see here. Seven, six. Now, hmm, actually, uh, the, the actual key off event, I think, was right, you know, right here, then the motor kind of does a self, whatever, calibrating procedure, then the ETC relay shuts off, and then we have to wait a whole minute, so we keep going frame by frame here, 10 seconds per frame, Finally, the main relay shuts off, as we can see here on our e on our ETC relay control side, and also on the motor drivers they go back to zero volts. Before they were at you know 1.7, and uh, we can get a measurement on the green one here. Let's see. On the green one is about 740 millivolts with the main relay on. So that right there says to me that we have a power feed issue. So if we're looking at our diagram, the relay is commanded on, okay, and when everything is stone cold, we don't see anything on the power feed. 
Okay. So right now I am highly suspecting this ETC relay. Or another option is this fuse right here, which should be hot all the time, is you know losing contact or something. So somewhere in this power feed leg or the relay, uh, we're having a problem when it's cold. Uh, now in situations like this, we could maybe swap that relay with something else and just let the customer drive it, see if it goes away. Or we can be more scientific about it and <laughs> and uh, see if uh, we can recreate the problem. I'll have to wait one day, but uh, I think for this case study it might be worthwhile. So on the scope, we see the problem, we see why the code is being set. I am uh, pretty excited about that. <clears throat> uh, you know, you're always worried about the computer in this case, but uh, here uh, it does not look like the computer is at fault. It's commanding everything, and it's just not seeing the the feed. So we're going to leave it at that for now, and in part two we'll revisit this and hopefully get to the bottom of the issue. So you can take your best guess right now if it's the relay or the fuse or bad contact somewhere. Uh, and uh, we'll see you in, see in part two. Alright guys, here's what we're going to do. So I found where this SBF7 fuse was. That's in the main fuse box and it's hot all the time. And actually that's the same one that feeds this tree right here. And we know nothing's wrong with our main relay or ignition relay. Uh, therefore, uh, that fuse is good because if it was bad, this wouldn't work either. So I'm not worried about the fuse itself. Uh, now what we're going to do is swap out this relay right here with a neighboring one. And I think the most convenient relay to swap it with would be, so let's see, 30, 32. So this is our ETC. All right, ETC. And let's swap it with, for example, uh, oxygen sensor uh, heater relay right here. Because that one well, it's not as critical. <clears throat> and that one is on pins 9 through 12, so that should be right here. So that's on this fuse block down here. So we can see, so we'll, these two right here, we'll swap them around. All right, this is interesting. So I'm looking at the relays right here. These two look original. This guy does not. See, it says Denso on these two right here, and that one is kind of a generic looking one. So, from the history of the vehicle, they said the relay was replaced, but did they replace the right relay?